This is critical, and uh, sometimes I don't see this happening all the time, but structural posts, like the one that the black arrow is pointing to, need to sit on top of concrete footings. This is a concrete pad, and you can see it looks like it's about uh, 36 inches wide uh, by 36 inches wide, and it's probably about 24 inches deep. And this pad is definitely going to be supporting a lot of weight. It's huge. One time I worked on a job where they were 48 inches wide by 48 inches deep. That was a 48 inch square. Um, and I think it took the cement truck about uh, probably 10 minutes to fill it up, pumping at uh, full speed. And that was, that was just amazing to actually watch that. Structural posts can also sit on top of footings. Now remember this is a raised foundation with a wood frame floor. If you have a concrete foundation that is solid concrete without any wood framing, then um, you will need to make sure that all structural posts are supported by footings that are actually in the concrete footing, in the con concrete foundation. Here's what a concrete footing looks like before the concrete is poured in a slab. You can see all the reinforcement there with the rebar and of course you can see the footings. Now, the footings will be for either load-bearing wall or for structural posts. Now this right here should give you an idea what a structural post actually does. It will support a beam or a part of the home that is going to have a concentrated load on it. So if you could imagine this beam is actually going to help support the roof, the weight of the roof. Um, and uh, you can see it's a large beam. It's going to be part of the ceiling framing. And at the same time, on top, there's going to be a wall built to support the roof rafters. So the weight from the roof will be transferred to the beam. And then, of course, transferred down through the structural post to the concrete footing. Um, or pad, and that's why these uh, posts, uh, they will not work without uh, a nice thick concrete pad to support them. Keep that in mind. We do not want to just set a post on top of a floor or even a concrete slab and uh, think that it's going to last forever because uh, it just might not. So that's it. Basics for structural posts. Uh, off to the next video.